Hey guys, what's up? It's 007 KR09 back here. And this is my review of my um, custom Arc Trooper Hammer from the Clone Wars. So, let's get right into it. So, I used a uh, Arc Trooper 5's body from the Vintage Collection. And I used Model Master acrylic paint. Oops. Um to take off all the sides of blue stuff and just completely cover that over like over here on the helmet and over here and on the back of it and then over here I put some um, primer and then I put um, some apple barrel gray paint over that so, yeah, and then I used a Mod Podge sealer over all that paint once it finished. And I think he looks pretty cool. I think I did pretty good on him. I gave him a pretty cool, uh, um, I think it's pretty cool, um, um, head and like make his hair cut and stuff so I took off the fives logo unprofessionally and then I painted his goatee gray so he's like aging so it's not fives and um no he's not really aging it's just um a goatee growing and then on the sides here which I think I did pretty good they're both gray, like gray hair, so that's pretty awesome. And then here's the pauldron piece. I didn't paint the backpack any um at all. Pretty awesome. And then the camo. I just painted it over with black, then I put primer on the sides, and then I put gray paint over that. So that turned out pretty good. It used to be the fives, like I said. And then over here, I didn't put any um, normal paint, uh, gray paint over it. I don't know why, just the primer. I think it looked pretty awesome. Then I here, I used um, the Model Master acrylic paint. And I covered it all over with white, and I just painted the, I don't know what that is, it's like hook or something, or small missile thing, I don't really care. And then I put some primer over the gray, and then put some normal gray over, um, and then the rest is just red apple barrel paint. So, yeah, I think I did a pretty nice job on that. He has he he keeps all his articulation, which should be pretty normal. I just don't want to put the shoulders inwards because I don't really want to rub the paint off. Even after I put the uh, sealer, I don't think I should do it because I don't want to ruin the paint. So, yeah, I think I did pretty good on this. And the helmet, I also think I did pretty good on it. And I put the red dots there, each side. And I decided to make it phase two because I didn't have the, I mean, I lost the rangefinder. So then I just shaved down that fin. I think I did a pretty good job on that. And then I put primer over that, and then normal gray paint and then I covered the, the blue part over here with the white and then I put red paint over that so that worked out pretty good and then I just put white paint over that and it looks pretty no like it doesn't look like it was customized so that's a pretty good thing in my opinion um and 
that's about it. Um, it, um, my rating for this figure, I'd say, is an 8 out of 10. Some things I can improve on is putting less sealer on, applying less, and, um, oops, um, painting the helmet better, because you can see it's a little rough, I would say. I mean, it looks pretty good, but it's a little rough. So, anyways, if you like this video, like and subscribe, and bye.